Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda and the Nexus, where we're about to confront Addison over her involvement with the Free Sabres. You've got a lot of answering to do, bitch. Yale told me to expect a visit. I hope this uh, so you've, uh, come to light. got your excuse ready, have you? Have the Three Sabres been eliminated, Pathfinder? Uh, yes, they have, but what do you have to say about it? Then the problem's solved. Uh, not as really. far as everyone's concerned, the three sabers acted on their own. But as they far didn't, as... did they? Yes, Sid. Hey, Ryder. Who the hell's this? Vetra's this sister. This investigation started with Sid's instincts. I applaud good instincts, but not in this case. So I was right, wasn't I? Someone on the Nexus was helping the three sabers. Yes, it was a mistake. We authorized a course of action that cost lives, but like I said, it's over. You have to tell people. Uh, if we made a mistake, we have to own it, right? Who does that serve? It could damage relations with the Angara, spark another uprising. It would be lying. Ryder, if you hide this, what else will you let them hide? Yeah, we're not hiding this. We're not this. taking tips on diplomacy from a teenager. <laughs> Actually, we are. Because I don't like you. You've been a director, bitch Sid's since right. day one. Transparency is important for building trust. People need to know they can trust us, even when we screw up. I'll make sure people hear about this. Good. Pathfinder, you're making a mistake. Your mistake was Maybe. being a prick. But at least I'm willing to acknowledge it. Exactly. So fuck you. You're gonna pay for what you did. Maybe if you weren't such a bitch to me when I first came out of cryo and doubted me so much, then I would have maybe considered your little, um, covering up. But, no. Should have been nice. Or a another concerned citizen. What is it? Well, you're out there, facing the cat. And we hear only rumors making them out to be monsters. Maybe they just don't understand us. Do you think peace could ever be possible? No, if the cat, no. The cat seems set in their ways. So, it would be up to us to change? If they have their way, they'll change us into them. That's what they do. Oh, I see. We must continue the fight then. Yes, we must. Thank you for your must. time. That's alright. Always happy to talk to people. Right. Uh, that one, we can't do anything for now. We're not doing that. Okay. It might be time to do the loyalty missions to do a couple of loyalty missions we're going to do this drac thing i don't think it's actually a loyalty mission but you know and then we've got these but we're going to leave these for now so we're going to go back to the tempest we're going to talk to sam about this um drac thing and then we're gonna look at getting some of these loyalty missions Actually, we're not. <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to talk to Sam, get that information, and then we're going to scan all these new solar systems because we've got a lot of unexplored stuff out there and it might show up some uh, cool stuff for us. So that that's the next plan. More scanning. More scanning. Learning more about the new solar systems and seeing uh, where we go from here. We also need to talk to a lot of the crew. To gain their loyalty missions, but also to keep the dialogue going. Because they're bound to say something after the uh, story progression. Okay. Jal said he wanted to see you. I will talk to Jal. But first, we're going down you have here. AVP outstanding Pathfinder. I know I do. Alright, let's go down this ladder, if it will let me. Let's go into our quarters. Something to scan. What's it asking me to scan down here? Oh, that. Crumbs. Hmm. Crumbs on the deck. You found them too? I think something's eating our stores. 
Oh, the visitor. Okay. Uh, right, we've got a mission. Something's been eaten. Eating stuff around here. Look, our new models are up on the wall. Very nice. Sam. Pathfinder, I've retrieved actionable intel from the security vid of Spender. What did you find? Updating your system with the nav point. Very nice. Um, but we won't be doing that now. So we just needed to get that uh, next little bit. Let's follow the crumb trail. Uh, how do we follow this thing? I, I don't exactly know how we follow this. Okay, new plan. Because if we follow the crumb trail, then we're going to end up having to go into these cabins and things, aren't we? So we're going to talk to everyone. We're going to get the dialogues done and out of the way. Um, and then we'll follow the crumb trail. So who's in here? Liam. What's up, buddy? Hey, Pathfinder. Still passing that mess with Varan and Callan. I made sure the Nexus data will be changed. Kesh is none too happy, but she can blame me. The important thing is we're all alive, I'm all in, and I'm doing things different now. Understood. Accepted, Liam. But let's not do this again anytime soon. Oh, total agreement there. In fact, this made me think how I'm doing a lot of things. I want to arrange a thing for us and the Angara, once their civil stuff is calmer. Maybe talk to Jal about the Roka. You lend your weight there, I can focus on something normal for everyone. Okay. Um. Oh. Okay, so we need to advance Jal's mission to uh, take care of that. Havar. The oldest new world. I like it. So anyway, we'll talk later. We'll talk later. I know it. Okay. Is there any crumbs in here? Doesn't look like it. Right, what's over this way? Lexi's in here. She's the only one in here. Any crumbs? Crumbs? No. Lexi, what's up? I heard you wanted to talk to me. Yes? Uh, there's a new memory fragment. I saw another memory that Dad locked away. The day my mom died. I'm sorry, Ryder. Uh, he couldn't let her go. Even in her last moments, Dad couldn't accept Mom's death. It's hard to let go of the ones we love. If you can't run from it, use it. Guess that's what he did. I'll let okay. you get back to it. I'll be here if you need me. Uh, who else do we have down on this level? We've got Cora to learn about the loyalty mission and Vetra. We don't want to do that yet. So we're going to go up a level and we're going to talk to all of the people up there. Um, I just I don't I don't know whether if we talk to them it will start the loyalty mission. Um, straight away or whether it will just give us the chance to do it when we're ready. I don't really want to risk starting them just yet. Hey, can I see you in the med bay? I literally just came down to the med bay. Why do you now want to see me in the med bay again? Alright. Okay, let's get that. And one more. Munitions. Yeah, let's get munitions. I'm not really bothered about them, to be honest. Okay, who's here? So we've got Drac and Gil. They're... Uh, where are they? I guess they're through here. If it wants to open. Yeah, here we go. Drac and Gil are here. So the Angara were fighting their own... Okay, not now, Drac. Talking to Gil. Hey, Ryder. What's the story? Uh, nothing, because you've got nothing to say. Anytime. Drac, do you have anything to say? Ah, Sloan. You do. She hasn't changed a bit since the mutiny. 
Just finally showing her colors instead of pretending to be civilized and shit. Should I worry? Can we expect any more trouble with her? Or are we done with the surprises? Done with surprises? She's twistier than a biotic in an ESO storm. She'll keep her word big on honor, that one. Just never show any weakness and you'll be fine. Okay, talk, talk to you later. later. Sure. Okay. Next up is talking to the two at the front. And then apparently we've got to go to the med bay again. Even though we've just been there. Suvi? What is going on here? What's going on? Nothing. I we'll should get back later. to things. Sounds good. Uh, where was PB? Is she in a little bit? She is. Callo? Ryder, might I borrow your research room access? What for? Nothing much. Just hoping to research something in my spare time. Uh, oh, go would for you it. care to help? I'll help if I can. Suvi, could you take the helm for a little while? It's preliminary, but all that data we've gathered on the skirt should be good for something. Is that our drive core? I want to research new systems, sensors, shields, EMP defenses, to help any ship tackle the Scourge. Seems I'm using like Lucille's old blueprints as a baseline. I can read them from memory, but if you and Sam can help, I'd really appreciate it. Well, let's I'm try. no starship expert, but Sam and I can pitch in, sure. Though if you want someone who really knows ships, there's always... Gil. I know. <laughs> we barely speak these days. I thought it was best. And yet... Gil's redesigns are what got me thinking. Funny. Most Solarians leap at innovation. Time to partner up then, I guess. If he's got ideas and you know the specs, that's a powerful combination. Run with it. We forget all our technology didn't just appear. Someone invented it. Someone cared. That matters. But so does inventing new things to care about. New memories. Gil, then... <laughs> Any advice on how to ask him? Just be sincere, man. A little honesty and humility will go a long way. Gil, may I get a moment of your time? What's with the awkward silence? <laughs> well now, your precious ship is running just like you wanted. I'm researching new systems to handle the Scourge. I could use your expert opinion, please. Sticking to the old school? I don't have to. No sense reinventing the wheel. Though you'd need better secondaries in place. Here. Here we go. They're, they're buddies. <laughs> We've fixed the tensions. I don't believe it. Gil and... Callow are best friends. <laughs> it's all changed. That disagreement is a thing of the past. Let's see if Callow's got anything to need to say now. For you? How's working with Gil? Are you and Gil still managing to get along? It's cordial so far. He takes approaches I'd never think of. And having all our statistics memorized saves time. We'll see. Though he insists our two FBA couplings are better than T7s, can you imagine? Yeah, can you, know, you imagine? <laughs> I really can't. I'll let you <laughs> concentrate. <laughs> you know where I'll be. Okay, PB. Is there any crumbs in here? Doesn't matter. Oh, we can scan it. Before when I tried to scan it, it just wouldn't work. Kadara port's pretty grisly, huh? Probably get into all sorts of trouble there. And now we're going after the Archon's ship? Sure that's a good idea. That's pretty much all we got the at this point. Of any others. It's an excellent one. Guess I can't argue with that. Anything else to go over? No, Thanks I'll leave you to it. We'll talk again later. You know it. Okay. Joel? Apparently you wanted to speak to me. I think he's in this room, is he? He is. 
Hey, Jal. <laughs> Didn't mean to scare you. <laughs> what? Uh, I'm I'm not scared. Yeah, sure. Uh, one second. What's going on in here? You look busy. If I'm busy, my mind is occupied with whatever I'm working on, uh, rather than worrying. Understood. I can see how that helped. Uh, I'd like your advice on something. I'm making gifts for everyone. I have a list. Gifts? Okay. Hmm. Do Turians like poetry? Uh, for Vetra, I'm writing a poem and engraving it on... Uh, well, uh, I, I'm not sure yet. Take the risk, man. Who doesn't like a personalized poem? Ah, great. <laughs> Maybe I could just recite it for her. Make sure I'm there for that. Uh, Liam <laughs> seems to like my Rothgin. I might sew him one. He does. Do Krogan like knives? I could craft a ceremonial Angaran dagger for Drac. Yeah, do it. You'll like that. Who wouldn't want that? It's mainly decorative. Would you like one? Jal, this is a lot of work. What's really going on? I'm sure that I seem confident and skilled to you, but I'm not. Or I don't feel like I am. That's pretty common. It happens. I think most people feel like that. I want to fit in. I want to make a difference. And most people probably think the same thing. My family is well known. Our lineage is respected. And many of my kin have achieved great things. I've never been one of them. So many older siblings and cousins who succeeded at everything. I stopped trying to keep up. Right. Thanks for listening. You're gonna do great things, Joel. You're not in anyone's shadow here. I believe in you. So I guess that's why he wanted to talk to us. He might have something else to say, though. My reports from he does. Ephra regarding Aksul are worrying. I don't understand how the Rokar manages to recruit so many. I don't know. I'll see you later, Joel. Stay strong and clear. Uh, yeah, you too. Strong and clear. Right, it's uh, planet scanning time. And then once we've scanned the planets, all of these new areas that we've got, then we can look at taking on these loyalty missions. So where do we start? That's the question. Uh, we've done all of these, haven't we? We have, yep, 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 yep. Right, we're starting here at Takunis. And we're going to go clockwise. Until we've scanned everything. And then we're going to talk to Vetra and Cora. We are starting not there because we don't care about that. What's that up there? Oh, we went to that already, didn't we? We are starting here at Mosino. Okay, we'll see you know. Nothing interesting here. It's the largest of three sibling worlds of the Takunis system. We'll see you know as a hot surface and an extremely thin atmosphere composed of methane and argon. No use to us. Next is Mosives, which I'm guessing is going to be one of the other sibling planets. Seeing as they have similar names.
Uh, uh, yes, the outermost of Takunis' three sibling worlds. Mosibs is a mountainous planet of... Uh, is that lime? Yeah, lime and potassium. Uh, Mosiba. This must be the third one. Hopefully one of these planets will at least have some minerals for us. I know this isn't the most entertaining thing to watch, scanning the planets and that, but you know, it's a let's play, so I try to include pretty much well, all of the uh, content that I can. One of the three rocky planets named for the stones of life of an ancient Solarian religion. Mosiba is the smallest and hottest of the triad. And Probe's it apparently launched. has... Tracking a huge mineral deposit. Beryllium. 99 beryllium. It's quite a lot. So we haven't uh, ended up empty-handed from Takunis. Now we're going to go to Vinvico. I find the music really relaxing. And actually what I'm seeing on the screen as well. It's really impressive, some of the animation and stuff. Okay. Anomaly on sensors. There is an anomaly. I can't read it. <laughs> the hydrogen and helium atmosphere of this gas giant have been slowly stripped away over hundreds of millions of years, consumed by the Takunis sun. Given time, it may be reduced to a terrestrial world. Interesting. There's the anomaly. Uh, there. I think it's a satellite or something. Satellite detected. A scientific monitoring satellite. It's no longer transmitting its findings and appears to have been damaged by a gradual descent into the gas giant's atmosphere. I'm... Oh, it's one of our satellites. Nice. Next is Slova. Which is really far out, so it's probably just going to be... Um, a useless rock, but you never know. Okay. Uh, despite its ferocious heat and thick methane-rich atmosphere, Slova might have been capable of supporting microbial life millions of years ago. But now it's really hot, 288 Celsius. And the last one is H523, which has a strange orbit to the sun there. Uh, H523 appears to have been a rogue planet captured by Takunis' gravity and brought into an unusual orbit around the star. That explains it. Long-term study of its composition may reveal more of its origins. Yeah, so that's why it looks strange. It's been dragged in by the gravity of the sun from somewhere else. Next is... Zalbre. Okay, this is where Aladdin is, but we're just gonna, oh, there's an anomaly here, asteroid, anomaly we'll have detected. some resources for us, it's all good for crafting. Graphite, very nice. Let's go to Gragorna. A 
It's an anomaly. The radiation of Zalbray Sun keeps much of Gregorna molten at all times. Uh, oceans of magma thwart all but the fiercest attempt. Why can't I say fiercest? Attempts at exploration. And this is copper. 118 copper. Very nice. Very useful for us. Okay, next we are going to Dubrachi. Hey, this looks like a a decent little world. I'm picking up something. There's an anomaly. And Dubrachi's nickel and cobalt surface defies the planet's intense heat to remain solid. Trace re re uh, sorry, trace readings of element zero are present, but difficult to pinpoint. It's oh, over a thousand degrees Celsius. Getting a scan. How does that water exist? There's a crevasse. Oh, it's an old Angaran facility. Got some XP. Um, what's over here? Oh, radiation. Okay, and we've got H315. We're not going to go to Eladin yet. We're going to leave that for the time being. Electrical storms. H315. H315's day is long enough and its atmosphere thin enough that its temperature can plummet at night. At either extreme, it should be considered hazardous. It's 815 degrees Celsius, but it can plummet to freezing cold. Strange. And then, of course, we've got Eladon over there, but we're not going to go there because then <laughs> that might trigger the mission. Um, and we don't want to trigger the mission. Um, so the next one that we've got is Anasa. Um, but that is going to do it for this episode. So we'll check out, in the next episode, we'll check out, I think we've got three or four new systems to check. Um, let's have a look, actually. So one, two, three, four, five five new systems to check in the next episode and then after we've done that then we can look at um, possibly taking on these loyalty missions um, for Cora and Vetra so the end of ep uh, the end of this episode as always guys thanks for watching if you enjoyed it click on that like button if you're new to the channel make sure that you subscribe and I'll see you all in the next one